Hi, this is Narayan from Sunya Technologies. We are located at CARE from Bangalore. Today I am going to explain the program to print pattern with numbers like below. In first row, I need to print 6 values and values start from 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In second row, I need to print 5 values and values are 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And third row, we need to print 4, 3, 2, 1, etc. This is the continuation for part 22. Please watch part 22 before going through this video. We will discuss this program with Visual Studio. First, launch the Visual Studio and create console application. Console.writeoff. Please provide number of rows. We need to read the value from command prompt. Use console.readline. And assign to integer variable. Int number of rows. Here readline method returns string value. But we are trying to assign to integer variable. So we need to convert from string to integer using parse method. Int dot parse of console dot read line. Here we need to print six values in the first row and five values in the second row like this. So we need to use two for loops to get the rows and column of the values for int row equal to number of rows, row greater than or equal to 1, row minus minus, for int column equal to row, column greater than or equal to 1, column minus minus, and print the column value console dot write off column plus some space later we need to go to nest line so use console dot write line We will execute this program without debugging, that means control F5. Please provide number of rows, 6, enter, and we will get the output as 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in first row, and second row, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and third row, 4, 3, 2, 1, etc. Here, in the first row, we need to print the value start from 6 and ends with 1, and totally 6 values. Okay, so and so here we need to print six rows. First, we are assigning number of rows to rows. In the inner loop, in the first row, we need to print six values. For that purpose, so here first value we need to print six. For that purpose, we, we are assigning row value to column. Then later, this loop will iterate up to six times for first row. Then this inner loop will iterate five times for second row etc. We will debug this program to understand the flow of the logic. Click F11. Please provide number of rows. 6. Enter. Here number of rows is equal to 6 and assign to row. So now row is equal to 6. Here we are checking condition row greater than equal to 1. That means 6 greater than equal to 1. True. It goes to inner loop. Then here row assigning to column, now row is equal to 6, assign to column, column is equal to 6, then 6 greater than or equal to 1, then print the 6 value, it prints the 6 and space, F11, column decremented by 1, now 5, 5 greater than or equal to 1 and print the column value 5, it prints the 5, then column decremented by 1, 4, 4 greater than or equal to 1, print column value 4, then 3, print 3, 2, print 2, 1, print 1, 
here it prints 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let us column decrement of 1, that means column is equal to 0, 0 greater than equal to 1, false. It exit from inner loop and cursor goes to next line, here cursor in next line, then cursor goes to outer loop, here row decrement of 1, now row is equal to 5, 5 greater than equal to 1, true and this loop will execute up to 5 times. Once it is completed, then it goes to outer loop, then this program will continue up to this condition true, once this condition is false, it will exit from the program. I will stop this debugging, control F5, please provide number of rows 7, enter and we will get output as 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In second row, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, etc. That is it for today. If you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day ahead.